And we've got four matches in a row, Jim. That's all we've been talking about, NCAA champions and three, four-time, three-time uh, All-Americans. But right now, we've got four matches in a row that are literally toss-ups. We've got an All-American in Chandler Rogers going up against the redshirt freshman, Alex Marinelli. Marinelli's been impressive. He's the Midlands champion. A guy that, that really keeps a, a low stance out there. Two impressive wins against uh, Richie Lewis from uh, Rutgers this season already. The under 32, uh, under 23 world champion. So here we go. Rogers is a big move guy. See that? Solid. Double leg, mo mo a lot of guys don't get out of that. I was going to say, that yeah. was a nice job by Chandler Rogers because he put himself in a dangerous position by um, giving Marinelli good position, which he hardly ever gives up without getting the takedown. See, Rogers working hard off that tricep. Now he slips it down to the elbow tie. We already saw where Kate Brock was able to go ahead and bring his opponent down to the knees and do that little slide by right there. Good pace so far by both guys. Marinelli, Richard Freshman out of Miamisburg, Ohio, St. Paris Graham High School, where he was a four time state champion on a four time team wow. champion. Big time club right there by Marinelli with the right hand. Drops back into it. You know, he doesn't have much penetration on that shot. He's just dropping, and his stance is so wide that, that he doesn't really. Uh, get much drive, much penetration, and that's where Rodgers has been able to kind of keep him at bay. You mentioned that Rodgers is a pinner. He's very dangerous, a big move guy. He was an All-American last year. And so far, he's matched the intensity. He's fought off two good shots by Marinelli. 11 falls in last year, last season for Chandler Rogers out of Stillwater High School. Grew up in Spokane, Washington. Wrestled there and then came to Stillwater with his family. Went to Stillwater High School and won a state championship in Oklahoma as well. See how he was able to clear his uh, upper body and kind of reach for that back leg of Rogers, but his stance is so wide, all right, and he doesn't really get any penetration on it, but he is pretty effective here with his short offense, Marinelli. And talking about good, good, good job by Rogers there, staying square because Marinelli has been in, in, a, in a couple situations where odd, you know normally you see him score one with that goal behind, and then a couple times on that shot where his, he was able to get his chest all the way to the hips of Rogers. Interesting style matchup. There it is. Nice job of clearing him. A little bit better penetration step there by Marinelli. But this isn't over with yet. Rogers, big move guy. And gets that foot down to the mat. Great hips. Well, you know what, what he did there is he didn't go back. He, he, he moved in as much as he could. He put his weight down on his leg, and he also moved in. He brought his hips to the party. He was able to fight that off. And if you're Marinelli, you just gotta, you, you're off, you're just really close to being able to score. Three shots that he's used to scoring on. The Midlands champion, as you mentioned, Marinelli. First time in um, Hawk, in Carver Hawkeye Arena with this many fans. Made his debut last year, last uh, week against Michigan State in a win. But uh, this near capacity crowd today, very exciting atmosphere. Good physical first period by both guys. Good quick escape Look for the inside trip. 1-0. That cowboy out in front with that escape in the, to come right out in the second period. Yeah, I mean, both guys are going hard with these collar ties and pretty much slugging it out right now. You're just joining us as Iowa out in front of Oklahoma State, 11 to six. Number five, five ranked Hawkeyes have three matches, one in the first five to the Cowboys two. Tim Johnson along with Jim Gibbons bringing you Big Ten Wrestling presented by Cliff Keen Athletic and it doesn't get any better than this. The rivalry between the Iowa Hawkeyes and the Oklahoma State Cowboys. There, nice shot by 
by Rogers. He's able to get the head to the outside right now. And he's going to try to settle back a little bit. The strength of uh, Marinelli coming through right now, he's going to try to shelf that leg and step over to the other side. Now, now we're in a little bit better scramble situation here for Marinelli with his head up. And he scores on a lot of people in this position. He gets his feet really wide. He's got the left hand right there on the inside part of the calf. So now he's collected up to the far ankle. He's really improved his position. He broke the grip. He's going to get two. Gets it around the corner, gets two points. And Chandler Rogers gets away for one. It's two to two. 23 seconds left in the second period. Great defense. Big takedown. Yeah, great defense by Marinelli, able to cut the corner. And it looked initially here on that shot that Rogers had the head to the inside, and then he's, he's the one that chose to go outside, and that really is a strength position here for Marinelli to go ahead and cut the corner. So good work on defense by Marinelli. You know, what he did well there, he stopped the move, right? Stopped the, the forward aggression of Rogers, and then kind of incrementally, just like climbing rope, you know, incrementally just uh, moved up, improved his position, and finally scored. Rogers on top, and Marinelli cutting, finding the angle, getting out for an escape. Nice job there by Marinelli. Yeah, three to two score. This is, seems to be the score of a lot of his matches. And, you know, it's too early to shut it down if you're Marinelli. You've got to stay on your offense. He's, he's been very close. Chandler Rogers, two-time NCAA qualifier and fifth last year in All-American, going up against a redshirt freshman. Trying to move past Rogers in the rankings. Marinelli trying to show the world that he is going to be on the podium. And he's right. ranked 11th, Rogers ranked 7th. Right now, Marinelli's got to be careful not to go just halfway on your shots or two-thirds of the way, because Rogers is really dangerous at coming back in with that inside trip. And if you're Rogers, you just try to score. You don't you don't really wait to the end and try to you know, get a takedown and ride out. Any score is good. The activity level of both these guys pretty high. Even though they're in their ties. 43 seconds left. This type of square on wrestling really favors Marinelli. Yep, there's another shot. Switches the other side. The grip is being lost. He's going to come back up. Just trying Marinelli. anything he can. Yeah, but Marinelli has got to take his scoring opportunity if it's there. See, that's four straight shots with all the stalling that was called earlier in the bout. Good work. And Marinelli comes out with the two points to win this matchup, five to two. Well, that's just Alex Marinelli just doing what he's been doing all season, cutting the corner on defense, never taking a backward step, heavy hands, taking the shot when it's there. Didn't finish a lot of them here today, but you know what? His activity level was high. He deserved that win. Really so. I mean, you're right. It's it's almost like this win is very special because he didn't get those shots at first, but he stayed in there, wrestled his match the whole time. The winner, Alex Marinelli.